Traditionally, when we think about the progress of technology or, or advanced technology, we were always waiting for the point where the machines become better than the best of us. There's a technical term for that, technologically sing te technological singularity. We will talk much more about that. And supposedly when the machines are better than we, then what happens? Either the Terminator comes or the Matrix or one of them, or we all like, yes, so that is science fiction. We, we don't, and we have to talk about that a lot actually, and we will. But what we completely lost sight of is that in order to dominate us, the machines don't have to be better than the best of us. All they have to do is be better than the worst of us. And you know, we all have good and bad days. And what these machines are is basically they are extensions of the mind. And if we are not in our higher self, then you know, this, this, you know the, the worst of us comes out. The, the fear, the anger, the anxiety. We get influenced by misinformation, the addiction, and not being like, who is controlled? Who is in control of, of your mind and your mind stuff? And so these technologies are extensions. And there's no bad intention in the attention economy. And I like in Silicon Valley, I never met anybody who is like, oh, evil trying to fill the world with misinformation and anxiety. No, really, it's just the business model that is pursued here. And we have to understand the business model and then see like, oh, maybe, you know, how can we socially construct that, you know, to mitigate the downsides, which are inevitable in every technology and foster uh, the upsides. And the business model here is not even the attention economy, it's one step further, it's the persuasion economy. The pers the, these technologies, these recommender algorithms, recommender systems are done to persuade you of something that you did not have in mind before. So it induces behavioral change, often against your will. You didn't have the will to do or buy or click this or like this or, or, or see this. You know, it, it persuaded you of that. That's just what this business model is. So these are extensions of the mind that induce behavioral change often against your own will. Or what is your volition to begin with, right? What is your will or free will? And, and let's, let's, so let's talk about what this business model is. Let's look at it maybe at the biggest, well, certainly the pioneering of the biggest social networks, Facebook, connecting three out of eight people on planet Earth every month. That's insane. Never in human history did we have something like that. Like three out of eight people, three billion out of, of eight billion people on planet Earth every month connect in this. We never had this in history. So this is really impressive. And uh, how does Facebook do that and offer that actually for free? Well, it sells ads. More, it doesn't even sell ad. It sells predictable behavioral change. And how does it do that? Well, because it knows you very well. Why? Because you leave your digital footprint behind. It knows you better than your parents, your mother, your significant other, better than you yourself. And with this information, you have this information, you have a lot of knowledge, you can get knowledge from it, and you, you have a lot of power. So let's see, let's purchase an ad on Facebook. That's, you can do that yourself. That's just what the business model is. And it's important that we understand what's happening there in order to see what could go, what could go wrong. So I have an ad here I wanna buy. And I want to buy it. I mean, here we are in Davis. Let's say 25 miles. We include Sacramento, Napa Valley. That's where we are. Beautiful area. San Francisco, not all the way there. So basically around here, you know, Northern California. Yeah, and so I, I purchased there. I want only women between 18 and 21 years of age. So young women. And how many do I get here? Facebook tells me oh, about 100,000. I have 100,000 women. Well, that's way too much. No, no, 100,000. No, I want to get a little bit more specific. So Facebook offers me different options because it knows a lot about its users. So I take them. I want these women to have some college or high school or still in high school. I want them being away from the family, recently moved away from hometown in the upcoming birthday. So like, you know, a little bit unsettled and a little bit sentimental. In a separation, I want them divorced, separated, complicated or widowed. And young parents with a baby younger than a year old and, and working in cleaning. Yeah, I mean, like really like scraping by. I mean, young mother, like working in cleaning services, great. Addicted to beauty and cosmetic products and kinder chocolate. Who has like chocolate? And liquor, of course. Let's make it cream liquor. I want them like chocolate, sweet and alcohol. Like, great. Discount cards, really after coupons and discounts. I mean, yes, young mother with thing working in cleaning, surely not like not living the riches, right? Tattoo with tattoo and body arts, uh, handbags, and spends her time on soap operas. That's what I want. 
actually as my audience, how many do I get? Well, about 12,000, between 11 and 13,000. So 12,000 I, I have here in my audience. And now I want to change them. Like I really want to change, get them to do something that they didn't want before. I want to brainwash them, basically. So then the social media service gives, gives me different options. What do I want to induce? Get more messages, get more engagements, get more leads, more visitors, get more calls, or oh, let Facebook, let Facebook select the most relevant goals. Great, automatic, let AI take over. I don't even care, let AI take over. Like, just change them, change them. Great, so but that must be expensive, right? Well, how much does that cost? Well, for about 150 a day, it costs for seven days, 150 of these women for seven days, it's about a thousand women cost $10. So that's about a cent per brainwashed woman. That's one cent. So now you yourself can think about how many things could go wrong here. You yourself can purchase that. If you have $10, you could also buy it just for $5. Right and and specify what how do you want to change who 